Here's a pair of the AirPods Pro 3. I'm going to show you how to pair and connect these directly to a Windows computer PC or laptop via Bluetooth. So first thing is let's go to the Bluetooth settings on your computer. You can go down to the search bar here and you can just type in Bluetooth. I'll type in blue and there's Bluetooth and other devices up there. Let's select that. From here, let's tap on Bluetooth and other devices right there. Now, make sure Bluetooth is turned on. And this little plus sign right here, it says add Bluetooth other device. We're gonna go ahead and tap on that. Now we're gonna select the first one up here where it says Bluetooth. Now you see this line going across there. Now it's searching for devices that's in pairing mode near me and it should show up here. So we gotta put these in a pairing mode, okay? So the buds are in the case. Let me open these up and see that light right there. It's a green light, but if, it, if you'll know if it's in pairing mode, if it's blinking white, 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 okay? I get a solid green light here. The reason is because I'm actually connected to my Samsung phone. So let me manually put these in a pairing mode. Let me just close the lid one second, and now I'm gonna open it, and I'm gonna double tap this invisible button right there in the middle. Now it's blinking white. Now it's in pairing mode. Now let me shoot over here, and we see it's still scanning here. Oh, I can go down more. Let's see, AirPods Pro. Okay, maybe that's taking a little bit too long. Let's do this. Let me go ahead and cancel, and I'm going to rescan again, okay? So I'm going to tap on Add Bluetooth again. Bluetooth right there. It's still in the pairing mode. Yeah, what do you know? Now it pops up AirPods Pro right there. It says connecting. We're set up. I'll click on Done. And you can see the AirPods Pro there. We are connected, ready to go. Now, if you had any kind of issues pairing or connecting these, you can always factory reset these. If you need to do that, look below in the description area for that link.